Hi everybody, welcome back. This is Corey from Ten Acre Woods. Um, I don't know about y'all, but sometimes, and I, maybe I'm crazy, but sometimes I see a soap in a dream. And um, I know it sounds crazy, but you know, I, I see it and I, I think it's lovely. And so I make it. And um, this particular soap, uh, not only did I see it in a dream, but it it has stuck with me. So I felt like I really needed to make it. Um, so the the name of the soap is going to be um, He Lives. The fragrance that I'm using is Endlessly in Love by um, Nurture's Garden, which is um, along with the theme of the soap. And then I'm going to be doing um, an embed in the soap um, in the shape of a cross. I don't know if you can see that well or not, but um, the colors that I'm going to be using in the main body of the soap are um, a, a ruby red, which symbolizes the, the blood of Christ, um, a vibrant purple, um, which symbolizes the royalty, and then a mixture of uh, titanium dioxide and um, snowfall mica. I'm hoping for a little bit of shimmer left over in, in the soap. And this is um, to signify the purity. And so um, I know that, you know, uh, not all of you are Christian. I, I, I am. And um, so this soap is really meaningful to me. I want to get it done and I, I, I'm not sure that I'm going to sell it. I think I might just, um, when it's done, just give it to my Sunday school class. Um, but I'm not, I'm not sure about that yet. Um, in my pot I have um, my oils and my goat's milk um, powder. Um, I learned how to dehydrate goat's milk and it's not easy and it's time consuming. And but. It, it works and um, it's for me so much cheaper than buying it um, so because I have a, a goat's milk source so with that uh, let me get some of my gloves on I hope you all are doing well it's um, a beautiful spring day here Should have had these on before, but okay, okay. Um, in my lye water, I have my normal. It's um, sugar, salt, and then tuss of silk. And um, so, with that, we'll just uh, get going. I've not ever, um, other than the, the embed, I've not ever used this fragrance before, so I'm going to split up my colors before I put the fragrance in. Now I'm using a lot of color because I want these a deep, rich color. Um, so that's why I'm, I'm using a lot. I'm really hoping that, that the uh, snowfall mica will come through. At least a little bit of the sparkle of that will come through. This smells wonderful, just wonderful. For those of you that are wondering, um, you see me have take 
stick blenders, you know, uh, for each color. Um, I, I have a, I don't know, I, uh, it's, I have a huge fear of my stick blender breaking in the middle of my soap batter. And so I have, um, I have five regular stick blenders, plus I have, um, a commercial stick blender. Um, so six altogether. And anytime I see one at the flea market or Goodwill or anywhere like that, I just snatch it up. I can't help it. It's, it's a, I don't know what, it's a thing. It's a compulsion, I guess. I'm just worried about not being able to have a stick blender. So anyway, I'm going to do just a simple in the pot swirl with this. Um, I think it'll be really pretty. And I'm just going to use a chopstick and go through it. everybody we're back and um, we're going to we're getting ready to cut this um, soap that I made and um, I'm calling it he lives and I'm I'm really hoping that um, it turns out on the inside like I was planning um, I love the outside colors I've already cut uh, one because my husband was really anxious to see it on the inside and um, it really did turn out the way that I wanted it to. And I'll show you a piece from that. Isn't that beautiful? That it, to me is just gorgeous. Um, it's just beautiful. So with that said, let's get this one cut. And there we are. If you like this video, um, just give a like below and and uh, go ahead and subscribe. And if there's something that you'd like me to, to do or if you some, something you'd like to see, just let me know. I'd be more than happy to do it. Um, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.